This grass on Pizil is gonna make our borders close to perfect. Let's take a look at this. Oh. What are you just getting started? EU4 King of Kings as well as 1.36 patch are finally coming live with a huge amount of the changes to the Middle East. As the DLC is about to be released in a few days, Paradox Interactive asked me to create a sponsored video where I'm gonna try surviving as RW to one of the most extreme starts in this DLC, form Persia and go for a huge Persia mission tree with, well, a lot of interesting stuff. So guys, you better fasten your seatbelts because this is gonna be one hour of extreme fun with this DLC. And guys, we've got a challenge because at 120,000 subscribers, so we're lacking only 8,000 right now, I plan to do three months as Ryukyu without going hard. So you better hit that subscription button and let's get to this challenge. First thing we can notice is a new colorful farce. And honestly, guys, this is much, much better. I absolutely love this color. Well, as uh, for our country, our ruler is one for two and he's inspirational, which gives us more of armies. And it's always like this. He always gets this trait. So having this in mind, uh, we can take another more of uh, armies from the advisor and jump straight to rivals, which is gonna be Bypass and Shirvan. Honestly, would like both of them to ally each other, uh, but you see that uh, Shirvan rivaled Bypass. So that's not gonna happen. Um, unfortunately, we have to fight one of these two at the very start. Now, as for the estates, I'll start with Kizilbash, which is a new estate, which is kind of like military estate for Ardavil, which is gonna give me mid points. Higher loyalty, as well as forced me to Kizilbash, which is a new unit type, can be either infantry or calf with cheaper cost, minus 25% and minus 5% fire damage received. From the me, I'll take religious unity, which is gonna be useful, especially a bit later. From merchant guilds are gonna give me prestige, 1% loans, higher loyalty, as well as interest per annum. We will need interest per annum. Amirus will give us supremacy over the crown and a general, while Ulema is gonna be admin mana, negative piety, more of armies, as well as diplomatic reputation. Sizlan to keep it above 10, and summoning the diet should be a, yes, a mission to conquer Astra, which is our core around here. Now, why do we need negative piety? Well, because we start with minus 100. This gives us missionary strength, more out of armies, as well as idea cost. How about the general? Let's take this one. Ooh, 2441 is great and ruler general. Not bad, but of course could be better. Just take this. Look, there are two missions. If you want to go and start with uh, Shirvan in case they do not ally anyone, we need this mission. This requires us 100% force limit. And this mission is for free Kizil Bash. So there are two scenarios. You play a bit more safe, you start building Kizil Bash and burn your professionals to have power and then take the free company, or you go aggressively and declare on the 12th of December, but to do that, you have to start with a free company, which I'm gonna do right here. Then, as for the merchants, one is gonna go to Basra, another one in Persia is gonna focus on spine network construction, which I'm gonna start building on Shirvan itself. There it goes, army of the realm is uh, more of armies, as far as the claims are around here. Bypass unfortunately allied Ajam, so we have to defeat these two at the same time, but they both hold our course, so that might be a proper goal, but keep in mind Ajam is a bit too big for us, especially with two subjects. Uh, why Shirvan is, seems to not be allying anyone. I've seen plenty of situations here, because I did a few test games, and it seems like every single time the alliance is a bit different. So usually Bypass does not ally anyone, while Shivan allies uh, Ajam, sometimes also Karaku, you know. Sometimes these two guys ally each other, and it's a bit random, so you cannot treat this video as a 100% guide, more like a guidelines on how to play early game. <laughs> and you have to play the early game very aggressively, at least that's what I'm gonna do. So 12th of December, starting the war against uh, Shirvan immediately because they did not ally anyone. Let's go. We need, of course, 9,000 to siege down their capital, but I'll have uh, more troops coming in a second. Let's see how this battle goes. Uh, obviously, I forgot to attach troops to each other, so I'm gonna waste a bit of manpower, but that's a wipe. 
So wasting this a 700 manpower is absolutely worth it. While well, you'll be slow getting troops to siege this down, I'm gonna start building Spine Roll Ajam as well. Because it's actually not that bad, because usually Ajam likes to ally Nogai, Uzbek. So it's really tough to defeat them. But if it's only bypass, it's not that bad, because it's 12,000, 17,000. Then we've got uh, 19,000. Yeah, it's around 20,000 troops that they have right now. With three special units built, I'm gonna get 20 army tradition, which increases my current morale to 3.8. Just as a comparison, if you go to the morale or around the world that we see, second highest nation has 2.9. That's how many modifiers we have early on. That is your biggest weapon as RW. Take advantage of these freaking army morale modifiers. What we can also do is go ahead and take Pay 50 Diplo points for uh, tax in our double, which is gonna give us another mission for additional production and power here. And this mission, which is gonna give us permacastle spell against uh, neighboring heavens and heretics. I'm gonna leave that until I'll be piecing out Shirvan to keep it for 25 years, you know, to, to use that for as long as possible. Thanks to our spine network, you see their defensiveness keeps decreasing, which is also decreasing the each siege phase time. Also, Shirvan is gonna be full annexation and money. 65 ducats is something we definitely need. But before that, as promised, I'm taking this mission. Sick! You just go ahead and start coring these promises. And the conquest of Shirvan is not yet established because we need to take promise of, of from Bayapas. Bayapas allied Karaman, for real. But Ajam did not ally anyone else. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna use these loans first, despite that we talk to repay all of our loans and uh, take new one person loans in their place because they are of high value, 102 ducats as you see. And uh, let's take uh, Kurdish company. So we'll be having 15,000 troops to deal with all of this outnumbering us enemies. This, of course, makes our balance minus 10 a month, but that's something we have to do to succeed let's just go ahead um, not even for reconquest but cleansing the heresy because winning battles is gonna be plenty of war score so the goal is to separate peace bypass right for this uh, province that we need take at least our course from ajam and full money war reparations to at least repay most of our loans and they're gonna obviously try take rw asap so i'm gonna arrive there after a month tick my, most of my morale is now recovered. So it's 3.0 versus 3.9 of morale. Of course, I have advantage of mountains. General, also better on our side. This is just take another thousand from the fort. And it's still super hard to win these guys. But I think we should be all right. These Ajami troops are reinforcing on the 24th of June. Yep, that's 20 person wars. Remember, the more you're over the frost limit, the more war score you are getting from winning the battles. And if it's a uh, cleansing the heresy cast belly, you're getting even, even more. So we're starting 34 war score already. Taking these guys down. It's gonna be additional few war score. Tick, 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 tick. And you have five. So you already took 36 war score from winning battles. Remember, maximum is 40. <laughs> So now we have to start switching something down. Obviously, by a pass. From my good relations uh, with Gilan. I can go and take also shock damage received, which is definitely something helpful. They will obviously try siege raising me, and that's why in RW I'm gonna have defensive edict. In Shiva I cannot have any because it's still being cored. With Fuman taken, let's scorch earth here and bait them to get into these uh, mountains. I, do, I don't want to fight on drylands, I want to fight on the mountains. But you know, it might not be an easy job. And then standing in all in one place is not something that's helping. So. Because of that, it might be more worth for us to go and take only our core in Astara and leave Fuman for later and take full money. Because we'll at least get rid of 4,000 of the troops, which might be crucial for surviving. You know what, guys? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go and humiliate them. Yes, 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 this is more worth. Humiliate for more mana generation, of course, later, easier Age of Discovery Golden Era. Mission fulfilled is also stability and uh, army mana. Now this battle should be much easier. Let's see, because they are of course reinforcing. I can take a thousand troops from the fort. 
Can I wipe them before they arrive? Very close. They're gonna arrive next day. Oh, yes, okay. This is enough. We've got full war score for winning battles, so it's now only about carpeting them and taking at least one fort. To save a bit of manpower, I'm setting both of my Merak stacks to siege down Kazvin. And the manpower troops are standing in Sultanech. This is also because Sultanech is mountain, so I don't want them to backdraw me. And if they try backdrawing, they'll have to fight on minus two. Now, why I'm taking care of these guys? I'm gonna already start building Spine Network on Karakoyunu. <sighs> that might be my next target. I think a wipe, guys, on Ajami troops. In the head on. Army quality difference should be. Ah, he rolled two in the first phase. Okay, okay, very good. How about just uh, do this? If this done, yes. I'll take a bit more. Teheran as a trade center as well. AE is fine. I don't think I even have to siege down the capital. Just a bit more of car passage would be enough. Full money, all of these promises, and war reparations. Good night, Mr. Ajam. It was nice knowing you. That's another mission which is protect Atabil. Gives me free additional uh, development. As far as some other bonuses. And we can go ahead, reduce for exhaustion, start coring these provinces, take care of our debt. Is this enough to repay everything? Almost. Just go ahead and take our personal loans again since their size increased. That's 236 ducats, repaying no one person loans. We've got 140 more ducats, uh, rival Georgia, rival Gazimunuk. And now, yeah, we go straight for Georgia. You know, taking this process helps me also a lot to get a shift run with my income. 10% of trades, uh, power in Persia is 1.8 ducats a month. <sighs> Since I have a bit of money, I will go ahead and take your inflation reduction, as obviously the loans are not helping. War in Georgia is obviously not pleasant because of their defensiveness. And it looks like uh, Timur is uh, taking advantage of the fact that I killed Ajam and they are just grabbing the promises for free now. With this promises stated, I'm getting expanded really of the main mission, which gives me state maintenance, harsh treatment cost, and a concurrent treat for a ruler, which gives uh, minus five years of separatism. Are my rebels gonna beat Georgian troops? No, but they've killed enough. No, they've won actually. What the hell? I wanted to attack tumors. They still attack behind. They have no manpower, and all the subjects are disloyal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's much more important to go after the two movies right now. This is the moment to do that. So, it's going to be not vassalize them. Take all of these promises and money. I took these promises because I want to release here Armenia. They have plenty of cores around. Just take a look. I'm going to feed them also with a few promises here. Sick. And sick. Hartley maybe as well, so to maintain the fort for me. Yeah, I don't have money for this fort. Quarters by ourselves. And start recruiting. Hmm. Yeah, they both take three, unfortunately. At least two Kurdish companies take four. I will take the Bukhara band, because they are take four. And uh, we will go with Bukhara band. I cannot get them. Yeah, I can't get them. I'll take the Tabarestan company and deal with the Timurids. Keep in mind, we'll pretty much deal only with them. No guy alliance. That's gonna be risky, but I'm willing to take this risk. I told you guys, I'll play risky. And of course, I'm going from cleansing the heresy. And yeah, let's promise these two boys uh, lands. And in the end, it's really worth it. Yeah, in the end, I'm not gonna give him anything. Yeah, that was a mistake. Mustache is really dying to... Yeah, told you, it's a very bad idea. My allies lost already 8 war score. My rebels are heroes again. Stack wiping Nogai troops. <laughs> now with capital of Timur's taken, I can go ahead and focus on winning battles. Battle number one in the desert. Can I wipe them before they rain... They're not even trying to reinforce. Is that a wipe? Ah, sh sh I've lacked a bit of troops. Let's go and defend our fort from rebels. Am I again very close to a wipe? How about we take a few troops from siege? Come on, kill more. 
We need to like kill 700 more of them. Not there yet. Don't worry guys, my allies are still there helping losing the war score. We've killed so many troops of Noga, I can go ahead and wipe piece them. Let's take a look. Can I click anything? No. Look, we've killed 31,000 of them. This is super important war, so we have to be efficient here. One of my stacks, both of my Merrick stacks are out of manpower. I'm gonna remove one of them. Take a few loans and recruit the new one just to keep the balance. As told you, over time, Temurus are gonna run out of troops because they have no manpower and it's already only 17,000 left. I really just died and as I didn't have an heir, just got a random 544. Not gonna lie, guys, I'm super lucky to get this. And it looks like Timurus got declared by their own subjects. Sist no, it's just Sistan? Sistan, Mamluks, QQ. Okay, so Sistan declared independence war with the help of QQ and Mamluks. I love when a disloyal subject is free concurring promises, so it's overlord. And now it's time to say goodbye to Timurus because uh, this guys are about to start sieging down the provinces. Taking all of this, which I think is even enough to form Persia, but uh, we don't want to form Persia because I think I would lose the missions. And remember, this is what is waiting for us at the end of the mission tree. We gotta go and rush this. This war is super helpful as well because we hit over 150 development, which unlocks Grand Company and Independent Company. Just uh, find Merc combines that are out of manpower and get rid of them. I'm still right with being over the force limit. It's just in their place. Go ahead and repay the one. We have 28 loans. I thought, yeah, the war of the tumors will hurt us a bit, but it's fine. Trust me, I'm gonna take this. We're gonna upscale that. Recruit the Grand Company and we gotta get ready to attack. Karakul. First bonus to take from each of these cavalry is justified wars. I have to start figuring out how I'm gonna start my golden era. War of QQ is much easier. I have the freaking Grand Company, they are tech behind. They have no member after their previous war, so easy peasy. I'm also not that much over my force limit anymore, so the balance is not that bad. Obviously, interest starts to hurt, but we're gonna fix it. Okay, Mr. QQ, this is it. I'm taking this two cores of Armenia, and I love this for myself. I'm not gonna agree on anything else than that. Taking that many promises for us, because well, Conquest Tabris is gonna give me a core here as well as loose war exhaustion into Persia. Ooh, okay, so I was not lucky with this. I can get, I mean, I don't have to take this guy. And it's an error, okay, it's an error, it's an error. Power points, 90% cheaper advisor, or 5553 general. And this is a tough choice because I have 544 already. No, no, this is, this is too tempting. Of course, I'll be able to abdicate after 20 years of rule, so. Um, in 15 years from now, it's fine. It's also saying that I'm about to go bankrupt. Uh, but let's just give it uh, some time to rethink everything. I'll go ahead and start coring all of the provinces and rival Great Ord as well as Musasha. What we need for the others? We need six more provinces in Persia and for this we need to conquer oh, far more. I might just skip this mission. As for money, let's just uh, sell titles and seize land to keep it above of 10. Then we we'll now use the money that I just obtained repay not one person loans but the loans that are a smaller size the size of the loans did not change oh that was a wrong loan that we just repaid I have to the base currency and it might take a month to update uh, my loans limit so my income should increase now yeah the loans limit and loan size just uh, updated this is much better now I can update my one person loans just take three of this, a couple of this, inflation is fine. And get rid of mostly of 50 ducat loans, which I still have plenty of. I don't have to repay this bigger loans. The smaller ones. 
So now we are at 70 out of 29. Easy peasy. And I should take a break now, but no, I'm immediately gonna attack uh, Maserati, but I have a claim to be created first. Also looks like, yeah, the subjects are declaring wars on the team words. It's a new local organization, no Holy Order, ex Holy Order for our double, which gives, it costs 100 mil points, but it gives base two manpower in every province. So having one, two, five provinces, that's 10 development. Also local missionaries, strength, uh, manpower, recruitment time and province allows Kizilbash. How many of them I have already? 11,000 of force limit. That's also a mission that gives me a uh, mosque and castle in our dive, but questions do I even need that? Let's just turn it off for now. I'm taking promises from Musashi, even though it's extra AE, but it's fine. And uh, this is obviously because I need exactly five promises to finish our mission tree. I just, uh, we also need to become a great power. <laughs> This issue is no break. Oh, actually, we need like 60 more development. It's not that bad. It's not that bad, but yeah, the extra E, of course, hurt. Just in the meantime, I can become a kingdom. Okay, guys, I told you, I need uh, Golden Era. That's why I'll go. Do we have any state where I could concentrate? Nope. Let's go to our Dravidal. Courage development. Pick, 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 pick. Then wait a month tick. And start the golden era. We're gonna pump up all of our numbers. For now, we pumped up our income to 16.3. One well, of the quality of life changes, the new pop ups. Expensive edicts, yes, indeed. I don't need this one anymore. I def the promises already. Could form pressure already and uh, get the achievement at the same time, which I already have, but it's just FYI because we have to just form pressure and start up before the achievement. But first, we gotta get this. Since uh, I have uh, calf combat ability from here and I'll have uh, calf combat ability from Persian ideas, I already started recruiting Kizilbah Cavalry because of the maintenance modifier. And uh, this should also allow me to stop these rebels from happening. And once I deal with them, it's time to attack. Uh, one of these boys here because our truce just ended. This institution is still not here. We're gonna take all three of these technologies. Which unlocks me new idea group. Ideally, I would like to take admin. But I'm also thinking about diplomatic for the province war score cost. And as I have more diplom than admin points, I will go for the diplomatic. Look how they massacred my boy. <laughs> Oh, at least this is plenty of nations I'll be able to kill, but uh, yeah, for now they, they're not helping me conquer many provinces to become an upgrade power. Ooh, and I definitely need to embrace institution now. Since I'm a bit out of claims, I'm gonna sanction Holy War, which gives me claims all around the place. And I'm gonna use that, uh, well, against first Palokistan. Or maybe Afghanistan. Oh, they have so many alliances. Fars? Yeah, let's start with Fars. This is a full annex of Fars. Mam looks good theoretically join the coalition, but who cares? Let's go ahead here and start coring every single of these provinces. Is it enough to become a great power? Need some month to update this. Yes, this is enough to become a great power. But I'm not gonna click this mission because this is until the death of our current ruler, right? Aga Muhammad I Safavid. What I want to do is to abdicate, get this boy on the throne, and then get this bonuses from him. I have a bit of admin mana. I could invest into this, but yeah, I'm thinking about inflation. Let's maybe try getting a diet with this inflation, and in the meantime, I will anyway spend it on coring the provinces, which make our borders absolutely beautiful. Now let's take all of the steps as promised. Up the gate. <laughs> what is this? Okay, it's fine. We don't care about this part right now. And take the mission until the death of this ruler. Co-creation cost, war score cost versus other region and morale damage. How's AE? It's fine. And finally, I can go ahead and form Persia. Take obviously the new ideas, become an empire and uh, Take this, boys. Country name change to Iran. Sure, 
Yeah, I can do that. I can take a mission for Consulate Pressure, which is giving 30 to development across several Persian provinces and 15 reform progress as well as claims. Please. This is so lovely. Then we've got Butcher the Black Sheep. So, for killing the Karako, you know. We are getting a hundred of Adri mana and Perna claims on Kurdish provinces in Atoli, Mashrik and Persia. So, on these provinces. Then a bit down here we have our religion's direction. It requires me to have, uh, okay, an advisor, 50 admin mana, and the branching mission. So you see you have uh, Shia branch, you have Sunni branch, are any different? Oh yeah, they are a bit different. And then we have uh, Zoroastrian branch. This is a new feature also, like, you can preview the branching missions. And I'm anyway gonna take Shia branch itself. So. Let's just focus on this. That gave me Persian government first year guarantee form, which gives development cost, field of democracy, ability, missionary, missionary strength, tolerance of the true faith, and innovativeness gain. So this is giving me... Is, I already had this, okay, so this is no difference. And tier 3 guarantee form is gonna be focused on... Uh, I was thinking about this for the tax, but no, I will go for the reform progress go. And I just selected uh, the... Shia branch, which is uh, Persian Shism event that gives me Trans of Heretics minus 3, Mission and Strength versus Heretics plus 5%, and Ardap will become Shia center of conversion. Oh my god, this is so lovely. That also unlocked me local organization. No, okay. Well, well, Which well, already, that so might be not be so done. easy. I'll try on the acids because it's an easy alliance and improve relations. All of this stuff also helps me with autonomy. See, minus 0.15 in a month. That is gonna scale our economy at last. Which is, uh, yeah, we're getting there. Okay, so I actually have so many meal points. How about I invest that into some more local organizations? One, I have a mission for that. And two... That's certainly a good increase of our maximum power and manpower recovery speed. How's this mission? I need eight more provinces. Sick. Now this is three more provinces. I don't I have to own the whole state in order to be able to do that. Sick, sick, and sick. That gives me 15 layer to Utulema and automatically complete the estate agenda of the Ulema if active. Well, let's wait for one then. And the Ulema agenda is actually nice for cheaper advisor, but I don't think I can afford him on level 3. I can just not click that yet. Especially that this is not completed. I know what, it's fine. It is completed. Viking a scholar from Rasids gives me the Islamic teachings, 10 prestige, 25 mysticism, and uh, some ulema loyalty. And convert Persia. Well, I'm on my way to do that. I thought that's gonna give us more. But propagated religion for 35 is actually nice. Yet another step for good borders is annexation of Armenia. Thank you so much. I probably should have taken a privilege before annexation, but I forgot and it doesn't matter. I don't plan to annex anyone in the next 10 years. This also gave us the Caucasian Conquest mission, which is oh, plenty of perma claims. And then even Georgian slaves in the Persian Empire? Gain Georgian as an accepted culture. If the culture is already accepted, rule, gain plus one max promoted culture until the culture is demoted. Gain Armenian as an accepted culture, okay. So both of them are now accepted. Let's just see the culture map mode. Okay, yeah, not bad. Ah, there goes the event. So I can either get manpower and for 25 years manpower recovery speed and towards of heavens, or a stability, culture conversion cost and cost of vices rulers culture. That's a nice choice. I, <laughs> I honestly lack manpower. Let's go for this. It's not even for the main power, but more like a recovery speed. I'm getting 1.3 thousand a month now because I'm temporarily having... <laughs> yeah, it's lacking. Do I see a positive balance at last? The brain drain, what it's giving. Welcome, our brothers. So I'm gonna increase legalism. 
And for 20 years, I'm gonna get advisor costs. Uh, yeah, costs an institution. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Please, especially the institution spread. I can't stop conquering provinces. And uh, honestly, I was just checking around right now. The subcontinents, remember, you can create uh, trade companies outside of your subcontinent. So, so far, I was only conquering provinces in Persia, but now I just conquered provinces in Levant. So, how about we go ahead? And that pass run to Baghdad to a trade company as a starter. This is 46%. Let's go ahead and add everything in this state. They see that someone just joined my coalition. And start calling the provinces. 50. Uh, oof. Yeah, I did not check AE before pissing out. Hormuz joined the coalition. Could I attack them immediately? Mm, not directly. Let's just go ahead and attack the Mamluks. I might not be ready for that yet. But I'm a bit forced to do that. And this is something that you love to see. Baghdad is being converted by the center of conversion. Especially that Baghdad, uh, from what I remember, one, I did the trade company. And two, it was really hard to convert it. Let's start with pissing out Khorasan. Just break the alliance with... And the Mamluks? Or? Yeah, the Mamluks. Great or is not important. They let us speak for themselves. 61,000 of their troops died. 25 of mine so far. This is it, guys. I want to take all of these princes from Mamluks. All of the money they can offer as well as war reparations. That war was tough. Is there any state where I could concentrate? Nope. But I've got a mission, which is protect the West Iranian. That gives me permanent claims on Mashrik. Every own province in Persia has a Mashrik, which is of the Iranian culture group, gains the following effects. 20 years of separatists. I mean, that's for the enemies, I assume. That's a lot of permanent claims. With some money, I should be repaying loans, uh, but instead. How about we go ahead and start investing into some of the trade centers? We need to increase it from 52%. 57 and slow steps will be getting that too. Not maybe not a hundred, but towards a hundred. Oh, I yeah, I did not see that Ottomans can join the coalition, and Timur is just dead. So yeah, I can't even attack when they have Castle's belly. Actually, my loan size increased again, so more one percent loans, which should allow me to repay all of the smaller ones, like a hundred ducat loans. I still have a couple of them. Yep, I'm down to 11 loans. Uh, so, yeah. Without this and this, I'm on a positive balance. Yeah, it had to happen. Ottomans joined our coalition, but it's fine. We just have to control and attack Khorasan as soon as our true ends. I don't have really luck of getting a diet to decrease our inflation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it myself. It's really fine. Look how much admin money I had. Uh, down to five is just perfect. I'm still also saving money to the institution. I want to really try ourselves out versus Uzbek army. And I have, yes, I'm full of Kizilbach units. That I think they're gonna just annihilate the enemies. Just take a look, yes. I mean, I expected it to be a bit better, but yeah, they are receiving the horde bonuses, so. Yeah, we did well. The coalition is dissolving. Transoxana just left it. But I feel like they're gonna rejoin it soon, especially that I want to separate this Aquino for all of the promises. But at this point, you don't care about AE. Anyway, it's time to embrace this solution. I need 1.9 thousand ducats. That is fine, it's just number. Embrace this solution. Take this. Could take two of them, but I want to unlock second AJ group. I was thinking between religious. Mainly for Devil's Wood Castle's Belly and Admin for the cooperation cost. And that's not an easy choice. I will go for religious right now, which is gonna stack really nicely with our current bonuses. Just the question is do you want this first? Uh, no. I'll just go ahead and take Missionary and Manpower the True Faith Process. That also unlocked me the Goods Process modifier. This Corazon Pizil is gonna make our borders close to perfect. Let's take a look at this. Oh, I feel just getting started. As I increase my army up to 52,000, 
I could click the mission here, Rally the Warriors, which gives me a general of 80 tradition that has plus 2 shock, and I'm gonna take him to deal with the Ottomans. Let's see what type of... 5-4 is not bad, or is it the 2-6 one? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it's the 2-6 one, because 5-4 is already in the army. That's complete trash. Uh, it's fine. <clears throat> I could take the Kizilbach loyalty, which give me 5 units of Kizilbach infantry, but I don't need them yet. Just leave it as it is right now. While converting 150 provinces with the Persian culture to Shia, just take a look at the religious map mode, gives the mission Persian influence, which unlocks the well-known Persian influence uh, tier 3 government reform. So it's gonna be instead of uh, reform progress growth. And let me show you how it works. It gives me conversion cost, possible advisors, and prestige decay. Not too well, right? But if you go here and uh, scroll down, you see that Persian influence. I'm getting 0.17 each month to up to 100 for having a high prestige, which is 88. Uh, Stats of my ruler. And then uh, we are getting for originally single provinces not being the nut culture. It's fine. So Amanullah Al Harari is an advisor. Okay, so then these three buttons, what they are doing? Collect tax takes a hundred on influence, and that will take money from the subjects, I don't have any. Uh, promote good reputation, again, you need a subject. And uh, Iranian enthusiast, again, needs a subject. But that should also unlock me an ability. How about we go to diplomacy? Influence? Invite to the sphere of influence. I could try with Miklav, Najran and Rasids. Because these guys are not Shia. You have to be Shia in order to, to be able to accept it. Not so many nations are Shia, right? Uh, let's just go ahead and start improving relations with Miklav. As well as Rasid. There it goes, Miklav. I can invite him to Sphere of Influence. Uh, that is going to increase the cost to elevate a subject to our vassal by 20. And maintenance of 0.2 Persian influence per month. So that's really not worth it. That's really not worth it because I'm barely gaining any of the Persian influence. Hmm. How about we don't touch it for now? Well, imagine us like themselves. Okay, I will try. Now, what, what now? This is a nice button here. We could take the birth general. But there's not much. Really, I could do here from this Nadran. Elevate uh, influence state. They would need Persian as the primary culture and 20 Persian influence. To promote our culture there, I need Persian influence. Okay. This is completely new for me. I'm trying out. And anyway, our religious stance. So having high Dimi loyalty and Kremlin, same from Ulema and the right advisor. I'm getting plus two missionary strength and trust of the true faith, also plus two. Alternatively, if we hire a logician, I can get idea course and tolerance of heavens. For how much time? 25 years. So I'm about to unlock tech 10 in like 20 years. I could wait of picking this until I'll be around tech 10. How about I also go ahead and reduce our inflation below 2%? I have enough army mana to do that. That's a better balance. But also Shahanshah coffers, which is construction cost, construction time and development cost. Do I really want to take it? Because I should save money to do that, honestly. Yeah, I should save money to do that. Anyway, it's time for more conquests. I'm gonna declare on the Timurids. As uh, you see, I have a mission to conquer Khorasan, which will give me claims on many more places. And uh, that's also to separate Piscine and break their alliances around here. Tier 4 Gantry form is important, and it's not because I took strength on Tulema, it doesn't matter. It's more importantly a um, mission, Legacy of the Safavid, which gives me Tier 4 Gantry form, which unlocks the decision which allows to embrace Legacy at minus 50 piety and Mysticism above 50 piety. Also, it gives me Missionary Strength, Ulema Loyalty Equilibrium. Decreased influence and max privileges. And even more importantly, I believe it improves the field autocracy abilities. So the... So this is 15% construction goes as it was, but also minus 5 Ulema uh, land. 
This, uh, besides local development costs for the area of Azerbaijan, gives production to RW and 500 development for Iran. Why this? So I'm pretty much getting 5 death clicks for 44 points. Why this uh, is also giving me 4 years worth of manpower from the provinces of okay, Azerbaijan area. So honestly, let's try taking this. It's 863 development. 869. And this again, construction cost. And to lemma minus 5% lands. They have 13%. Guys, this is lovely. Obviously, you are the first great power. And you know, getting so much development from... Can I even show it somewhere? Because, yeah. From this button, for 100 mil points, I'm getting plus 2 development in each province. It's just more than lovely. Not to mention the local empire modifier. Let's just... Yeah. More. More is 94,000, 97,000 maximum power already. Fully an executive Moritz is gonna push our borders again into a nicer theme. Uh, it's not there yet, obviously. Oh, you're over a gap capacity. How about we pick some from Amirs? Oh, that's much better. And what's this about? Ah, oh, yeah, the influence is too high, but they also have high loyalty. So, secure Khorasan is plenty of permanent claims. Noise 20 local autonomy Khorasan region and 5 devastation lost in Khorasan region. So, do we have still any devastation here? Almost none. And this is the permanent claims we just got. So, Mr. Delhi, are you ready to have some fun? I honestly, uh, no claims on Transoxiana, because I need their trade. I have plenty of it already, but I need more. Another step for Great Borders is peace with the Mamluks. <laughs> we are getting there. That should be also a mission. Unite the Maastricht. Let's see. Syrian. Para claims on whole Egypt. But it's not saying anything here. Is it only about Syrian? Let's see. Accepted cultures. Yeah, I, I think it's only about Syrian, which is good. Next one is subjugate Egypt, which is having 20 provinces in this region. And it's gonna give me claims on the Arabia region, which I already conquering, and some other new modifiers. We'll get there. Well, how about our sell titles and seize land? Uh, reduce our inflation, and we can go ahead and take this for stability, construction cost, and time. And center of culture has 20% influence, as well as some bonuses to our province of Ardabil. So this influence, it's decreasing because of the amount of unaccepted cultures. But can I spend this 20? On promoting a culture here? Do not repay the loans. Let's see, promote culture. And then I have influence to elevate them. Okay. How about Miklav? Can I invite you in the sphere of influence? Yes, I can. But my influence won't be increasing like at all. It's really hard to keep it high. So now take a look. Um, Barak costs me just 70 ducats. Marketplace, not so much, but I have marketplaces in the right provinces already, I believe. So, uh, I could get it here, no. So now it's all about uh, getting few things. One, I want uh, to invest here. Two, I want to invest here. Let's see if there's gonna be additional merchants. 50, yes, two additional merchants coming. And the rest of the money is going into freaking workshops. So this merchants, it's a tough choice. I'm gonna send one to Lahore, since nothing is coming to Persia. And also my trade power is in general decreased because uh, I'm overextended. So for example, my trade power here is decreased by 90% due to overextension. With this privilege for a cheaper advisor, I'm also able to go ahead and do the check and balance, which will cost me a bit of power points, but it will uh, allow me to enable Grand Vizier decision. Select a Grand Vizier, which will be hired for us Administrative Advisor. Okay. Currently have 50% uh, cheaper missionary strength guy, but I converted already pretty much everything. So let's see. He's minus 100% cheaper to employ. 
So I have uh, Splendor Corruption and Admin Mana. Uh, it will be always Admin Mana because it's an advisor. We have uh, Reduced uh, Yearly Corruption. Construction Cost, another one. And Corruption. Corruption Admin Tech Cost. It's, it's also always Corruption. To answer the True Faith. Development Cost. Idea Cost. I will go for the Construction Cost. Then we will take a look if this workshops. Yeah, see the progress is over 10%, so I can't cancel and I would lose money. But anyway, I will be building more. You see that this cost me just 60 ducats per each. I will gonna definitely get some barracks now. With 30 unique promises having at least one building. That's yeah, that's difficult for all my investment. I can unlock uh, this mission, construct great buildings, which is giving us a privilege for the merchant guilds. There it goes, the great works of Iran. Every old province in Persia and Khorasan will have its development cost penalty reduced based on the terrain of the province. So, let me pick this, let me show you the regions that we are talking about. These two regions. And so let's see, we've got uh, desert, plus 50 development cost. See, the great works of Iran is decreasing its by 20. Cool, let's take a look at the mountains. They give 35% development cost. They go towards of Iran decreasing it by minus 15%. How about Highlands? We are getting plus 20%. The Great Wars of Iran is minus 10%. So that is gonna make Devin here much cheaper. But of course, that's an investment for the probably next video. But we're not ending yet. So, okay. So there goes Radical Reforms. This advice also giving me a bonus. If I get rid of him, can I get him back? I'm gonna risk it. Let's take the 400 power points and... Yes. But do I lose the bonus if he's no longer employed? Yeah, I think, guys, we've lost the construction cost bonus by unemploying him. I guess that's unfortunate, but it's fine. The two rivers of the Fertile Crescent. It's giving me 50 trade power in Basra. To mercantilism. That is really nice. I can also finish my religious ideas, which is the Devil's Wolves Cultus Belly and more culture conversion cost. We might want to, you know, try converting some cultures. The policy we're getting from this too is, of course, another missionary strength, so you're already at 11.4. And select. Okay, so I can keep selecting the Grand Vizier. Of course, to cost power points. Is it like plus one additional? Oh, let's see this. Okay. I can try the construction cost guy again. It's 16 points. Oh, but he's level 3 immediately. And see, it's another one. So I'm getting plus 4 from him. But it just also costs a lot of money. I guess it's fine. And then we have 75% trade power in Hormuz. I'm getting compete with Hormuz mission, which is... 4 base tax in Mokostan, 4 base production, 3 base manpower, so it's here. Uh, local development costs, local trade power until the end of the game, and 25 Persian influence. Persian influence that I could use to invite these guys into the of influence and enforce our culture there. It had to happen at our point, a ruler died, which means we've lost the uh, promise for score cost and co-creation cost bonuses. That's fine. You remember, we got a good error, so it's not that bad. I'll be aiming for Tailors of Persia, which requires me to have a workshop in 20 promises with silk cloth and dice. And so I'm just aiming and building it right now. al as Asharif, so conquering Jerusalem, is giving us uh, until the death of the ruler, two missionary strength, prestige per development from missionary, and uh, plenty of development in Jerusalem itself. With the workshop finished, let's see, that's 600 ducats, and also a privilege for Again, Merchant Guilds. Promote Persian Racks. Let's take a look what this Promote Persian Racks is doing. Mr. Merchant Guilds. So this privilege is giving to every province of cloth, silk and dice, 15% local goods produce modified. Let's see, 78. Actually, we need a month tick to, for it to update. First this. 86, 21, 42. Just take this. 22, so that's one more income. And 42, let's take a look. Uh, actually decreased because we've lost a merchant. So I cannot show you much yet. 
but uh, the you know the improvement for now is minimal but once we build uh, manufacturers on this project it's gonna be huge the next mission here the pressure rack allows requires me to have a lot of production of silk dyes and cloth or be their production retail you see i have it for silk and dyes ready for cloth we are not there yet we want to become production leader let's see production leader of cloth has seven percent we have 3.8 so it might be just a matter of developing our provinces with cloth how about we do that first we definitely got us to 5.7 percent so it's just a matter of having it a bit more once I get the power points. Getting my foothold uh, in India, but more importantly, <laughs> fixing the borders yet again. That's uh, from what I see, a bit more power points to core it than I have. Well, it's totally fine. I'll change my strategy with trade combines a bit now. First, I convert the promises, then I add them to the trade company. And when I rush it, welcome to our sphere of influence, and I should have enough of our Persian influence to be able to promote our culture there, and that takes some time. If their culture is Persian, I'm not losing any Persian influence a month for having these kind of subjects. I just built 25 trade ships to send them to Gujarat. I should help increase it's 1.99 to more. Remember, I have four extensions, so it's not that easy. It did increase that. And now, this is the Infar Even Enterprise mission, which gives me 2.5 thousand ducats and the coin of iran some nations in india are gonna receive that i have no idea how it works is it busy guys please welcome the production leader of cloth which is the pressure racks first i could get mercantilist and increase their prices but 150 percent 25 25 that would be for 40 years or i get money and the price is decreased no or i get a bit of money but the bonuses to the prices are lower of course i'm going for the first option Let's see, it's 26.55. This... That's 40! That is nice. And 55 trading I was gonna update into 72. And keep in mind, this is with overextension. I gotta stop a developing institution because there's no chance I'll get uh, colonialism, naturally. And I'm gonna develop it in Ganja, since I have so many power points uh, Death cost bonus is here. It's gonna be just Diplo in the mill points because adding mana is going on the technologies. Maybe just two of it to also expand infrastructure to get even more death cost modifiers here. With Age of Reformation, I have to cancel the war taxes and obviously we are aiming for two bonuses. One's province force cause with other religions, and two is the Prussian developers. One is 20% death cost. We got some event like to create a coalition against the Ottomans. But is anyone's... Oh, Venice is in this coalition! Let's go! Just before the coalition, I still have some stuff to do here. Let me go ahead and attack Transoxiana. Because we need to take over the trade. There's just too much value here. Got the coalition with 35 development here, but... That's just the first step. Well, now it has to grow. That's why I'm gonna get the advancement, effort, state ethics, everywhere around. Transoxiana. Uh, the borders could be better, but I think they're still really decent and again same policy. I will be adding the promises to a church company here, but first I need to core them and then convert them. End of the Timur the dynasty gives us for 20 years uh, for Karasan region monthly autonomy change and monthly devastation. As the five provinces in this region get plus one random development. That's hard development already. It's almost 1.5 thousand. 53% trade points on Margan is not only a nice boost to our economy. But also a mission, <laughs> yet another one, the Silk Road. Just upgrading the trading policies. How does it work? Like, what kind of update? So this is a plus 10% instead of plus 5% trade power. Uh, this is 33% spine network instead of 25. This is siege ability. I think this is the same. Will it be, maybe the siege ability is higher or maybe siege ability wasn't here. Or, I don't remember honestly. Uh, improved relations is a bit higher and this uh, is not upgraded. Mr. Mamluk, uh, I'm gonna take all of these provinces as I'm taking the perma claims and as many of them as possible for yet another mission which is the subjugate Egypt. I need another seven provinces around here but 
you are getting in that direction. That is not fixing the borders, but I'm gonna attack Ottomans to fix it, so don't worry. Let's just go ahead and start coring all of this. Then embrace the institution. You see, I'm only left with one person alone, so it doesn't matter. And this stack is costing me only 327 points. It's because I have minus 14% from the ideas I took, 10% from neighbor bonus, 5% uh, from... Uh, I actually don't know what it is. 10% from Dimi, 1% from Innovativeness, and 10% from my spy network on the Ottomans. So this way I can take this, I can take this, and the next admin tech is gonna be very soon. I gotta stop my expansion a little bit. I could release here something, but there's nothing really I could release right now. It's a tough choice. What we should start with? Death Cost? Or Promise World's Cocos versus other religions? Let's start with Death Cost, because I want to take the next idea group, which is gonna be administrative first. So I'm gonna not expand that much in the coming days. What I'm gonna do a lot is developing our promises though. With 2.5 thousand saves I can start improving Kaba, which is uh, a monument that is gonna give us, um, well, most importantly, 5% promise war score cost at level 2. I'm not stopping at all on Delhi here, but as I told you, I'm saving Admin Mana. So we're gonna take advantage of Punjab as our subject here. Question is, do we want to give them any of this pro- I think I'm gonna give them all of this. Admin mana is admin mana. And we're currently saving it. Because this farm promise is gonna stay in our hands because later I'll add it to a trade company. Well, that will make them disloyal, but religion's a religion. I'm gonna make them obviously Shia. There it goes, guys. I'm gonna declare war on the Ottomans. It's just us because Commonwealth is busy fighting uh, Russia. And they're losing to Russia. I could call Austria, but I don't want to do that because uh, the war goal here is gonna be winning battles, and we know how allies are winning the battles. Let's declare, just a reminder, they have with their allies how much? 170, 220,000 troops, Why I have myself 90k, my full force limit. Let's just see what is their army quality and if we can fight with that. 5.5 of our morale versus 4.2 of theirs, 105% discipline versus 108% discipline. So yeah, we should be winning these battles easily, especially that they also two techs behind are tech 9, Why we are tech 11, and this is because they were feeling quantity ideas and they took quality as well oh boy well we should be winning that but that won't be an easy war quality quantity ideas Ottomans is just pain how about the losers okay they've lost more knowing this won't be an easy war I'm gonna start slackening recruitment already and yeah call Commonwealth but that might be a bad idea because of the world goal here, but let's try. Current combat with is 27, that's why I have 29 here just because they were enforcing and all of my artillery in this stack to be as efficient as possible while the rest of the army will be just reinforcing. Military forum with the perfect moment for that. I can get 20% more of armies, so now our morale is 6.1. We honestly just have to find right now um, Discipline advisor. This is fine, Cole. Well, this is fine. We only have minus 19% war score because of you. With a big mistake from our side. Let's see how it goes with my also discipline advisor. Oh, it's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's a stack wipe. But poor do not, Commonwealth has everything under control, it's minus 27 from battles. Well, uh, there are some advantages of Commonwealth giving us minus 38% poor score from battles that I occupied whole Anatolia in the meantime, so now I just waiting for Kolmov to be separate pieced out and I'm gonna kill Ottoman's ass. In the meantime I'm gonna uh, prioritize take 11 admin above the rest of admin ideas here. I know there's a tech cost later, but this is too important. We just sell titles, that's 8.4 thousand ducats. Then I'm gonna invest 14 in admin mana to get construction cost and you'll see what will happen. Because with this, you'll see that our construction cost is in the level of minus 26%. So I just can go ahead to manufacturers. Do you see this? Do you see this? The value of these manufacturers? And this is without trade being included. 
to just invest uh, all of this 8,000 into one of our cheese all around the place. And we'll see in five years what kind of a beautiful impact it's gonna have. Beautiful impact that I'm also having on the Ottomans is their decrease of income. It's only 69 right now. My hours are at 221. At last, who wealth is out of the war. I mean, at last and not last because they are already coming here. And uh, we have to start engaging in order to stop the siege of this province uh, of Shugla. But yeah, that's also more of the troops coming. It is fine. You see that they finished the siege of Abkhazia. So this battle here is lost. I can just uh, focus on running away from him ASAP because I can't win. We'll come into the ascending. And of course, that's another war score lost. But this is fine. I have to unite now and start fighting. This might be a very hard battle to win. But at least I'm attacking here a stack of them. That does not have any leader. These guys are of course next by. And they're gonna try enforcing. But the first crucial couple of days are gonna be with a leader advantage. Same as I believe we should be having here an advantage of... Almost full back row of cannons and see how much the ass is being kicked. Just go and start reinforcing with manpower troops because uh, mercs are not fully reinforced yet. Yeah, easy peasy, guys. We just have to keep doing that right now uh, around Biga and Kojaeli. Let's take Tunis out of this war, break their relations with uh, the Ottomans, and Mam looks and they take some money. These guys have to come back. Uh, fight with these guys actually mostly and uh, I will be also a separate piece in Morocco I just need to kill more of the troops I'm at 9% war score already even though I still have minus 11 from battles and minus 22 from taking war score but still is busy we've got everything siege down here and just pushing them back killing lots of troops and decreasing the quantity of troops tier 5 guarantee for me I know I'm super slow but that's because of the amount of conquests we're having tier 5 guarantee form is about military and for Persia, we've got a new one called Color Agassi Regiments. Plus two land laser shock, monthly autonomy change, reinforcement costs, and military technology costs. It's not like super OP broken, but still, I like it and I want to try this out. Mr. Ottoman, I'm really sorry, 172%, 173% over extension taking this peace deal, because just take a look at our bonus of the province for score cost. Minus 20%, just promise war score cost. And additional 30% of war score cost versus other religions. That's why I can take that much in one Ottoman peace deal. And that also allows me to take the Seljuk successors event, which gives me manpower, Kizilbach East state loyalty and influence, everyone's Turkish province loses 20 years of separatism and 20 autonomy, then Turkish has accepted culture, or, well, let's go for this. The next step we subjugate Egypt, and you see we're lacking just one more province from the Mamluks here. By the end of the Turkish threat, uh, yeah, requires him to take the whole Anatolia, which might be possible one piece deal. Well, anyway, around here in Anatolia, to save a bit of Madrimana, can go ahead and release Eretna, that is gonna receive all of these provinces. That reduces my overextension to 132%, which is still a lot. That's why I will go ahead and feed them with more Divgiri, Malatya, Khanik, Sindop, and Kostamonu. That is down to 98% and good gap capacity, just start calling everything. I might need guys to go ahead and start investing money into card houses. In the meantime, good news, Mink is dying, uh, so I can go and ally Shun, which I believe should give me a mission, the Sinor Persian relations. Any ally owns Beijing, okay, they need to own all of these three provinces. And 150 of opinion. Where well, I have the opinion, they do own Beijing, but they do not own Nanjing and Canton. Well, I might just help them do achieving these promises and kill them. Chinese blue and white porcelains. I assume that's related to Chinese alliance. Improve relations. 
that's a lot of time. That's 25 years. And for 20 years, trade efficiency. One is a diplo point for a ruler as well. I want to see the impact of this trade efficiency on our income. Now, even though my uh, overextension is really high, you see that my income should be with this update on over 300. 300 exactly. Congress of Egypt gives me claims on the whole Arabia region, which I mostly have in my hands or my subjects. And uh, let's see what else. This also unlocks me by project for Amir's Maluka administration that gives me gaff capacity, which I need. Um, Amir's max privileges. And every province in Egypt has uh, local unrest, increased local autonomy, and decreased province governing cost. And then also provisions for Kizilbach and Gilman. Okay, step by step. Let's take a look at Amirs first. I have plenty of space for Amirs. Maluk administration. Let's take, take it. So now you have 701.1 thousand. Yes, the cart houses are working wonders as well. And from Kizilbach, Maluk administration. Okay, so that's pretty much the same as a choice. When you have too many. Don't accept the culture provinces because it's listing every province. The UI might not be the best for at least for a millisecond. I can see here that I'm losing 0.21 of pressure influence a month because of that. More time, more missions. The Great Shia Empire gives me tolerance of the true faith and manpower to faith provinces for 20 years. While well, you unify the Shia realms, uh, every Shia which own provinces in Arabia or Africa have plus 25 more reason to accept joining this sphere of influence and gain 20 Persian influence as well as diplomatic reputation all the, the end of the game and monthly Persian influence. So now this Persian influence is ah, 0 0.00 a month, but I should also have enough of it to elevate, uh, elevate Rasids to a subject. Yeah, they are just a standard vassal now. Sword of our faith uh, is uh, giving us what? Claiming and staying the front of faith gives us the following bonuses. Diplomatic reputation, cause of advisors with rulers religion and others of the same religion opinion of us. Then we are unlocking on diplomatic action fabricated religious conflict. This diplomatic action allows us to use our spy network in hurting heaven countries to fabricate a spread the true faith casus belly. This casus belly forbids the conquest of their provinces but reduces the cost to enforce religion greatly. Target countries must be within trading range. I will have to test it. Do I have a spy network oh, on the Ottomans? Yeah. It's, it's for five years, so our truth has to be closer to the event first. Anyway, guys, I think that's where I'm gonna finish the first video on this 1.36 patch. The borders are absolutely beautiful, especially if you take into account our subjects. The great power scores is 2.2 thousand in just first hundred years of the gameplay. Almost 200 thousand maximum power, 324 of income, and 120 of force limit. So, guys, remember to leave a like on this video, especially if you want me to continue this to achieve all of the mission trees so far with these 29 missions we still have plenty to go and of course remember that in the pinned comment as well as video description there is a link from which you can go ahead and buy the new DLC to have fun in the Middle East same as I just did today. Finally remember that at 120,000 subscribers we are gonna do a special Yuki campaign so hit that subscription button right now. Bye!